Welcome to the Rock hey, hey, Show. Hey, 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 hey. Nathan Wallace is here as well. Uh, I can't hear we myself. Forget. I can't hear myself. Huh. You can't hear yourself. Let's make sure you're plugged in. Are you plugged uh, in hello, down at the bottom? Hello, hello, hello. You might have got Hello, there we go. All right. We can hear well, it now. Hello, world. Hey, I'll take, listen, a cord being disconnected, if that's the least of the malfunctions tonight, then I will take it. That's it. That's the only malfunction that we're going to have tonight, other than the pre, pre-voting uh, riots. I think they should start rioting today, and then that way we can done, be done by, like, Oh, Friday. I'm so tired of it all. I don't, I can't do it anymore, man. I, look, I get it. Well, Everybody's so tired of it. That's why everybody's going to riot at the end of it. They're going to go, ah, oh, all yeah. that shit for nothing. I don't even care anymore who wins. I just want it to be over. Like, I, today I got here. I'll, I could read you the text messages, but I got one text message asking me if I'm going to vote, which I already have. And then I got another text message asking me if I would go stand in line and hand out waters in Cape Coral. And I don't think I should do that. I don't, as much as I want to support the democratic process and people voting, I don't want to stand outside in the heat in southwest Florida handing out waters to people who are going to be like, if I told them who I voted for, they'd be like, all right, jerk off, get out of my way. So I don't, I don't need that headache. I would love it if, like, just, like, immediately, like, maybe tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow would be the best. Like, tomorrow, right before they figure out who won, like, they just both die from COVID. <laughs> Well, they're just, very uh, old, man. I mean, yeah. I was talk- they were talking about this on the morning show this morning, uh, the People's Morning Show. By the way, there may be some new listeners because I've gotten a whole bunch of friend requests from people in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. So right. if you're yeah. joining us, welcome. We do this every Monday and Wednesday night, 7 Harrisburg. to 9 p.m. This is comedian Nathan Wallace. How's he is going? Southwest Florida's own. He was just uh, headlining the Calusa Nature Center this past yeah. Friday. <laughs> Crushing at the Calusa Nature yeah, Center. Killing you know, it. You know, sometimes people are like, you want to do theater? I'm like, nah. No. They're like, you want to do comedy clubs? I'm like, nah. <laughs> like, you want to do bars? I'm like, mm mm. They're like, what do you want to do? I'm like, nature centers, baby. Yeah, planetariums. I want to be on the boat. planetariums and boardwalks. <laughs> That's what I want to. That actually came out really awesome, dude. We did we did exactly what we set out to do down there. Uh, it was a charity to save the Clusen Nature Center, and I honestly do believe that we the saved booze them. and bruise the event booze and Friday night. Uh, comedian Rob Churchill will be joining us in at the uh, seven thirty tonight. He was also there, and I'd like to hear how it went for him. Mm. Uh, <laughs> what the whole show went but it went exactly how you would imagine a comedy show at Clusen Nature Center would happen. Yeah. Not but, the best acoustics for a comedy show. <laughs> Sounded like the teacher from Peanuts. Yeah, we did. We peanut teachered an entire Ugh. show, but they were there. To, they were there to support. People love this place, so it really worked out. Thank you, Clusen Nature Center, for uh, you know being there. Yeah, thank you to the people that showed up to the Chuckle Hut show. I could name each and every audience member. That's how little <laughs> of a turnout we had. It's because they were all at the Clusen Nature Center. Yeah. They were like, well, we heard Nathan Wallace is going to be doing shows at night for, right before a comedy contest. Yeah, why go see Tim the Dairy Farmer and John better. Charles when I can go see Rob Churchill and Nathan Wallace at a planetarium? Hey, um, you know what? I feel the same way. We did end up, the weird part, man, we sold, we sold a good amount of tickets but only yeah. half the people showed up now i make money either way i'm happy but i yeah. felt bad for the elks lodge because the elks lodge was expecting to have a lot more people show up when you the thing is most of those tickets that are sold for elks lodge shows are sold to elks lodge members and for them to not show up it's like well now you're giving money to me but you're not giving any money to your lodge what's the whole point what's your issue you got okay over there uh, had a, yeah, had oh, a okay. malfunction. Had a malfunction. Anyway, Sorry, man. thank you to John Charles for doing a great job. Tim, the dairy farmer, crushed it. Dean Rashidi uh, from uh, Miami, he did well as well. There were some Rovers Morning Glory fans, which is a radio show in Cleveland. Check this out. Some fans that listen to a radio show in Cleveland that I worked for seven years ago ended up vacationing in Cape Coral. They go to the Elks Lodge to have some drinks. They see the poster of the comedy show with my face on there, and they go, wait a minute, we know that guy. So they buy tickets for the comedy show the following night, and then we end up hanging out in the parking lot, drinking parking lot beers with people from Cleveland, people from Orlando, Susan Poitras. Thank you for coming all the way if you're watching. Cleveland Um, rocks. Yeah, so I had Bubba listeners there. I had Cleveland listeners there. No Cowhead listeners. They refused to show up to shows. I can't imagine why at this point. Uh, But I do appreciate the Bubba Army for coming out, and I appreciate uh, you know the RMG listeners for coming out. So fun shows this weekend. Did you awesome. you came over Saturday? We hung out Saturday on my front lawn. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, that was awesome, man. Where hey, we that was really cool. Watched a giant. Uh, we watched Hocus Pocus on a twenty four foot movie screen because you can't do trick or treating because of the COVID. So instead, we did that, and we got to spend family bonding time. Me, you, Santa Claus was yeah, there. It was nice. I didn't see the Hocus Pocus. I came. 
fashionably late, you know. I mean, only dorks come early. Yeah, yeah. I come after you missed the, first the first movie. movie. Yeah. I, mean, I missed the first one. movie and the credits of the second one. Man, I was like, my- no, I love Hocus Pocus. I, I wish we could have came a little bit earlier. We, we were bums. But yeah, actually, dude, the kids, Sawyer, your son, and my son dancing in front of the screen. Did you see Having this? so much fun. Yeah, it was oh, cool to watch because uh, it's Sawyer's first friend. He doesn't have any other friends. Really, <laughs> you and the little girl that's across the street, uh, those are the only two families that we interact with. Yeah. And he's not, he doesn't really, it's weird. The girl across the street, like, I don't know if it's because she doesn't like us, but like they keep their kids away from ours. I don't know. What, like the, the 10 year olds are able to play together, but the babies are like, oh, we're going to keep them separated. Yeah. Uh, maybe because I don't know. Yeah. Because I, I have know. weird people show up. Like tonight, we're going to have you. Not that you're weird. Uh, we're we're going to have you. I'm weird. We're going to have Rob Churchill show up. Um, I double booked by accident. Uh, Kyle Raymond sent me a message. He's like, hey, should I come at 730 or 8? And I'm like, I totally forgot. I double booked. Can we do you next week? And he said, no, you already told me I could come after Rob. And I said, all right, come on out. So we'll try and cram all three of you on that couch and see if it'll work. <laughs> <laughs> I, I need to get a wide shot. It doesn't even make any sense. No, so Kyle, it'll be. Kyle, you bailed on us. You came late that time. That's yeah, all right. It's all right. No, we love Kyle. Yeah, I really, I have questions. Uh, we talked about the differences between crack and uh, oh, you know what we could do is we could make them we could do like you have extra if you have an extra 50 I got an extra 50 let's see if we can make them kiss <laughs> okay you want to do gay stuff hey you guys down hey, for gay hey, stuff hey we're, since we're all going to be on this this couch yeah. together hey really turn this into a casting <laughs> yeah. couch welcome. welcome to the yeah welcome to Rob's new thing welcome to the casting couch <laughs> 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 the Rob Show's new show. Have a Welcome seat. to the Cast the Couch. Right here on my lap. Have a seat. I Sit want- on down. I- cast the couch for Rob. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't think, <laughs> look, I don't think Rob Churchill we could talk into doing that for 100 bucks. I do uh, think Kyle Raymond we could talk into doing that for 100, 100 bucks. 100 bucks, yes. We, yeah, he would kiss a dude, I would imagine. Ah, uh, that'd be, yeah, and then it's on the internet forever. That would be the highlight clip forever. instead of David Gregory Stinky Feet. By the way, you can go to youtube.com slash Rob Show and catch previous <laughs> episodes. Dude, I went back and watched, and I love David. David, if you happen to watch, I, this will be the one and only mention of your stinky feet. Oh, my God. So you, you put that up as a clip? I, yeah, well, I mean, it happened, and it was great. Your reaction, because I went back and I watched, and I went, I want to see I when Nathan realizes. And at one point, you just see you look to me, then you look to him, <laughs> and you do this. And then you say, did somebody shit their pants? And that's when the <laughs> hilarity ensued. And I went, oh, it's great. I may actually play that clip after we end tonight at 9. So if you want to stick around and watch it, you missed it last week. It was very oh, funny. Uh, yeah. uh, David had stinky feet. But who does it, man? I'm not wearing socks or shoes today. My feet are kind of rank. Oh, I went dude, for a bike no. ride. Hey, I love David, too. We got to preface it every time. We love you, David. <laughs> but, oh, my God. I've never smelled anything worse. Like, I- I'm a plumber. I'm a yeah, plumber. I literally your deal was shit all day. Tampons and shit mixed together out of pipes, <laughs> and I've never thrown up. I've never. I had a I had a, a pipe completely full of shit one time, and I dug a big hole and I cut it, and it filled a big six foot hole full of shit and water <sighs> right in front of me. Disgusting. Yeah. I've never almost threw up. David's feet, I almost fucking <laughs> threw up, dude. When we were sitting here, bro, there was a moment where I was like, <laughs> <sighs> it was like coming up, and then you hit that candle. And yeah. the candle just made it worse, oh, dude. Yeah. It was just like, <laughs> like candle lighting garbage on fire and shit. I, don't, I was like, why did you? I can see if your feet smell like feet, but not like poop. Yeah, I was worried that he stepped in something and then dragged because I got shag carpet and purple yeah, shag. I would hey, be poop, uh, yeah. pulling that poop out forever. Uh, well, you know what? Sorry, sorry, David. Your feet stunk up. Yeah, well, it happened. You know, go see yeah. the go to the Laughing Comedy Cafe this weekend. Frank Del Pizzo will be headlining. Larry Venturino featuring, and some other fellow hosting. And bring no, up- no Chris Coles, man. Chris Chris Coles. Coles. I've never met him. I don't Chris know who Coles he is. Will be back. But- He's uh, he was twenty. He was twenty years the host of the Laughing. Oh, twenty. Very years funny. Very funny, dude. As, yeah, he was the twenty year uh, MC and host. I didn't even know that club was there for twenty years. It's been there. It's been there twenty six years this year. Oh wow! Yeah, I know. That's what. That's what I know. A lot of people don't realize how much history you're in. Is it club. always been in that room, or was it connected? If you don't know, the Laughing Comedy Cafe is in uh, Fort Myers College Parkway. Nice little. It's in a strip mall. Uh, there's a Starbucks. There's all kind of. Uh, yeah, it's like yeah, it's like shop. Uh, three peppers. All kind. Of, yeah, it's in a strip mall, but it's been in that strip mall for uh, I think 22 of the years. I I want to say I could be wrong on that. You'd have to ask Chris Coles for sure. But that uh. Yeah, they, they, I think 26 years this year is what it is. 25 or 26. I, I don't That's know. That's the history da- of the laughing comedy Daniel, Daniel Tosh. Yeah, I know. That was bad. <laughs> yeah, I, just, I, I, I got lost in a loop there. <laughs> Daniel Tosh Daniel headline Tosh there? Is, no, Daniel Tosh actually has been there. Yeah, he used to feature there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. feature, not headline. 
No, he never headlined there. He, so this is like way back. You know, this is it. It 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 just really started a lot of comedians' careers. It ended a lot of them too. So yeah, uh, yeah. Well, and some of them have gone on from starting at the Laughing Comedy Cafe to headlining the Calusa Nature Center. So yeah. you can, really, you could be on Comedy really Central, Tosh up. Point Oh, I'm or you. <laughs> hey, and that, at, actually, on Friday, I'll be headlining the World of Beers in Gainesville. So. Moving on. That up. sounds like a fun Moving show, though. That, and you are, because didn't you feature there the last time, or did you headline there the last time? I headlined time it last time. Uh, yeah. But that's a two shower Friday, and then there's one on Saturday, right? Or I uh, know that because of COVID, it changed. So it's only the one? The one shut down. So it's Ugh. just a Friday show. So you got to drive all the way to Gainesville for one day and then come all the way back. Uh, in these days and times, yeah, we'll but that's what, what you got to do, yeah. man. I'm going to end up, because I got no comedy this weekend. So I'm going to drive. I'm taking the camper van and we're going to take the kids across the state and go camping. I think that's going to be the plan. Word. Oh, whoops. Sorry. Actually, <laughs> yeah. <cheeseburger>. Wait. <laughs> Word. <Hot. laughs> no, cheeseburger. It's not hot. 239 300 2320 if you want to join us uh the number scrolling uh, i took the zoom out fuck it nobody uses it anyway we'll keep it on for when interviews are on but nobody has zoomed in yet and uh, it just slows down the computer and makes shit crash so no zoom tonight zooming in somebody the tv shut off did you shut that off no nah, i don't know it keeps shutting off on me and that's i don't know why because that's how you guys will see the news stories that i'm playing on the computer tonight maybe got a sleep timer on it or something. i don't think so man I, the tv is like old if you saw oh, yeah, this it's tv sand, yo. It's, yeah. and it's like gigantic but it's like one of those fat tvs it's I'm surprised it's not one of those box ones. Whatever. We'll work on that. Um, I had a long week, man. I've been getting up at, well, today will be day four of getting up at 4.30, 4 o'clock for the radio show in Harrisburg, which is nice. fun, by the way. I really enjoy it. So thank you to the people of Harrisburg. They've been very welcoming to me. Surprisingly, I thought they would hate me, but they like me. How's Bill's Plumbing been? Been big Bill's Plumbing, 239-245-3406. Over at the Bill's. Yeah, Have you ever gotten... Plumbing. When you, you talked about that uh, tube of shit that fell uh, and then filled up that hole, have you ever gotten poop on you? Oh, dude. Yeah. yeah. The worst. You want to, uh. Uh, that would freak me out, but man. Think about this is the worst one. I've got poop on me plenty of times, but this is, uh, so I, I was changing out the P trap underneath of a sink. What's the right? P trap? So where, when the water goes down in the drain, it goes down into a U shape. Yeah, and water sits in that U, and that's what keeps the sewer smell from coming up into your home. Oh, okay. Okay. Also, rings and stuff fall down there. That'll be a place where it will sit. You could take it down. So I'm changing it out, and I pull this pipe out, and this brown grossness goes across my face. Oh, oh. It was reek, right? It was gross, but it's in a sink. So usually, a sink is you know spit, makeup, everything you would do into a sink. So it's not poop per se yeah you know but it's everything else it's still really gross yeah. so i was like oh that's like disgusting tooth, like gunk wipe yeah. it off yeah toothpaste gunk makeup i mean some people pee in the sink and we really suggest there was a whole thing that went through that said <laughs> pee in the sink and you save water you just rinse it down with the faucet i disagree please don't do that we have please stop peeing in your sink yeah also no drano drano is horrible for a plumber but anyway so bullet goes across my face gross i clean it all up i finish the job the next day i get a guy the guy calls me back and says hey i need you to come over the little part that you pop up in and out, Rob, you know, okay. the, the pop up yeah. assembly to close it off. He says, I need that really high. He goes, I need it like this high. I go, why would you need a pop up assembly? Why would you need the pop up so high? He goes, oh, this is the sink that I rinse my convalescent wife's, wife's diaper oh, down. Oh, oh, yeah. So he's been Ugh. rinsing the diapers of his convalescent wife down there for years. Ugh. So that was convalescent. That was. <laughs> old lady old lady shit <laughs> oh, face, dude. dude when i worked for public works uh, they used to make us go into oh there we go still not as bad as david's shoes <laughs> yeah david's shoes <laughs> first, and old lady, uh, yeah. poop on the face Poor i worked for public works for a few years uh when i was a teenager it was like my real first job where i got a like actual paycheck and one of the jobs was you'd have to go and clean the beaches you'd have to walk up and down the five mile beach and pick up trash that was one of the jobs the other job you got to paint fire hydrants and fix sprinklers and i spent a summer doing that and what i found was the water department would go to the sewage station do you ever see like those sewage plant stations mm -hmm. um underneath i didn't know this but it's just a building and then they have grates and underneath it is just rivers of shit it's just all it's it's not in tubes it was just poop and piss and water and tampons and toilet paper and they would t i was 14 
and these grown men would take me there and then they would lock me inside of it and they'd hold the door with their back because it stunk so bad and they'd see how long I could stand in there before I'd scream. Like today they would get fired and brought up on charges for that, but back then, Brigantine City Public Works, nobody gave a shit. Dude, that was the worst smell, man. You would just look down and go, oh, I don't want to look, but I can't get away from it. It's just poop is everywhere. But why did you have to get into the room though? Because I was afraid of these giant men. They'd go, all right, your turn. And i go, what do you mean my turn? And then they go, go in there. And i go, I don't want to go. Like, it happened a dozen times. Every <laughs> single time, we'd have the same argument. I'm terrified of snails, and they used to put snails all over my hands. They'd make me put my hands Why like this. Yeah, and then they would put, snails. I don't like them, man. Who likes snails? <laughs> they're gross. Snails are gross. Who doesn't thing like ever. snows? Snails, oh, bro. But they're you're, slimy. You're, and you're just, the kid oh. that used to run them over with your bike. Uh? No, there were people that would put salt on them and then watch them, like, fizzle and stuff. Dude, you really? You don't like that so you're freaked out by snails? I fucking hate snails. That's really oh, great. I hate snails. They're the uh, worst. I'm gonna snails snail and you snakes. Up. If you, if God forbid, my biggest fear, and I, it happens here in Florida. How do snakes get into people's toilets? You're a plumber. Bill's plumbing 239 something, 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 something. <laughs> how do people get, how, like, I've seen this story a bunch where snakes pop up through the plumbing into somebody's toilet. They open their <laughs> toilet and there's a fucking snake. Well, I mean, it could be a, a million different ways. They could get in just from like an open clean on the outside of your house. They all everybody's roof has an open pipe directly to your drains on the roof. You know, so if it goes up onto the pipes. roof from because I got trees hanging yeah. over, so if it's on they the tree, on the falls roof, down on the roof, goes down in there. Oh, dude, that's the biggest fear, man. I sit down and I go and I like. When, I don't know about you, but when I make number two, I like to sit for a while. I like to sit. I'll take my phone out. I'll start scrolling through Reddit. I'll spend time in the bath. That's my alone time. I'll be in there for thirty minutes, and the whole time now I'm just scared. I'm sitting there reading Reddit and scared that something's gonna bite me on the ass. Yeah, I got a big scare at a public bathroom. I, dude, I, I, everybody has that fear, I think, a little bit. I check the toilets for spiders. I don't like spiders. Oh, you all like spiders? I don't like spiders. Okay, dude. so you're going to get, if you get me with snails and snakes, I'm fucking getting you with snakes. I'm not going to get you with a snake. I don't like snakes either, but I, don't, I definitely don't give a shit about snails. You know who's <laughs> like the harmless thing? Oh, they're, they're, the most, so weird. they're the most harmless thing uh, in the I don't world, care. bro. They're they like literally weird. cannot hurt you. Uh -uh. You could just, you could uh -uh. eat them. You could just go, I don't want you. Oh, fine. Yeah, you never had Escar go? Oh, let's, yeah, I've heard of escargot i don't let's like people who eat octopus i go why there's so many other things like that are good besides octopus, octopus why, good too yeah. you've had octopus oh, octopi yeah. Yeah, i like it plural. when it's chopped up in, in in like a vinaigrette type thing with onions and cilantro oh it's jesus that sounds and... disgusting yeah it's <laughs> delicious i don't even know how we got here how did we get uh snakes in the toilet no, oh, there was something before that that got. Oh yeah, the gross poo in the face. Yeah. Anyway, so we, I, I, you know, we're pretty good now. We don't get poop in our face. Bill's plumbing. <laughs> two three nine. <laughs> two four five three four zero six. That should be your bet. We don't get poops on our face. Hey, here, at Bill's plumbing. We're pretty good now. We don't get poops in our face. I two four five three four zero six. Uh I only remodel and service, so give us a call. There's <laughs> nothing worse. It's just becoming a run of joke now, like because this is going out to the world. So it's Bills. <laughs> we're I, gonna do Fort How Myers great would Naples. it be if somebody actually called and they're like, "Hey, I had a plumbing emergency. What was that name? Oh, Bills Plumbing." Oh, Bill's and then plumbing. I'll go and Google it. Yeah, if you're in the Southwest Florida area and you need plumbing, Bills Plumbing. Yeah, we don't really want you to do emergencies on us. We're more of like a... All right, know, well, don't call that. Call in a couple <laughs> weeks. If you got some work that's coming up the next couple of weeks. You know? yeah, so you're not like, the, hey, it's overflowing. I don't know what to do. You guys don't deal with that or you will? We will, but if we have the time. So we're just, we're like a nine to five company. We do mainly remodels, service calls, repipes, things. Dude, I'm telling you what, Bill one day he goes, he goes, why do we keep getting up at 6 a.m.? I was like, well, I don't, you know, that's the normal work for a plumber time he goes nah no more he goes we, we'll meet at the shop at eight from now on yeah look at that. That <laughs> everybody was there. yeah everybody's been real happy about it we have people trying to get into the company but they're just not good plumbers we only hire yeah. hey listen really bill's ones. plumbing only hires the finest fuck you if you're not the finest it's true it's true i've had to fire guys dude i've had to drop them hard uh, i've had to fire one person in my entire life two people uh when i worked for bubba he had some difficulties with Nielsen, had to settle a lawsuit, and then we had budget cuts in the building, and I had to go to a guy named Bald Bull and a guy named Frank and lay them both off, and I had never fired anybody before, and I cried. They knew it was coming, and I sat down, and I had tears in my eyes. I said, fellas, I'm really sorry that I have to do this. I did it in one shot. I brought them both in and let them both go and went, you have no severance. I'm sorry. Florida's the right-to-work state, and I best of luck to you. You're not going to get unemployment, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, and it was really hard. And they just were like, all right, no problem. Thanks, man. And I'm sitting there blubbering.
Yeah, they're like, yeah, well, yeah. I was making eight ninety five an hour. I'm okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah they really, Frank actually said that he's like, I'm gonna, you know, I was working another job. I'll be okay. Bull, bull. I don't know what He worked at like a theme park. But anyway, yeah, I had to fire two people. Very uncomfortable. Yeah, I'm already uncomfortable firing people. Even worse. Yeah, it's definitely an uncomfortable situation. I've been fired, and I cried when I got fired. <laughs> that was the <laughs> most embarrassing because they brought me in. It was in Tampa. They brought me in and they sat me down. Which, by the way, they. They make it seem like I walked off Cowhead Show and then never came back. That's bullshit. I walked off Cowhead Show to collect myself during a commercial break because he went to commercial and came back in the following break and then came back in the following morning and then Cowhead sent me home and then spun it on the air like I walked off and never showed. And that's why people hate me to this day, among other reasons, but that's one of them. And it's fucking fake news coming from that fat fuck. You should listen and understand fake news fucking news anyway <laughs> they, when john a, brennan sat me dress. down i cried in his in his office i went wait you're firing me what did I, I didn't even do anything and they went well yeah florida's a right to work state see you later fucker yeah boom that's done yeah, goodbye that's, that's all it is you just go okay well have have a nice one it's a right to work state and you no longer have the right to work here <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> luckily I, to be honest with you getting fired from that show and it's weird how things happen but getting fired from that show turned out to be the best thing that ever happened because i went and worked with bubba and i became very friendly with bubba and we have a friendship to this day bubba led to k-rock k-rock did not work out so well but then that led to harrisburg and now i may end up moving so I things think, work out weirdly but in the best i think yeah. that uh i think that the K Rock thing worked. It just COVID killed it, man. I think so too. And yeah. I think, to be honest with you, I think that I was not liked in that build. There was an incident that happened, a comedy incident. And then I, I don't know, I felt the building turn the tide on me at that point. And from then on, I felt I was doomed. Even though the numbers were great, they had more people listening then than they had ever had at night before. We had more phone calls. We had more fan interaction. I, I worked all the way through the pandemic. It was fun. I enjoyed working there and I enjoyed. Well, what's this comedy story? I want to hear this now. Uh, it was when the girl knocked the camera over. And I called her a word that I will never repeat again. And then she threw a drink on Nate Stein and then stormed out. Do you, you don't Where was this that? at? Where was this at? Uh, Ollie's Pub. I called it Follies at Ollie's. I was the original Follies at Ollie's. So by wait, the way. that's wait, that's when that happened. That, that think, turned a corner. But how, but how did they know? Because I put it on their website. <laughs> <laughs> was a lack of judgment on my part but they, they, all they did they brought me into meetings and they went we need web hits revenue is down by the way really down almost declaring bankruptcy revenue is down and i went okay well this will get a lot of clicks and it did but the wrong kind apparently and that's when they yeah. went, See? oh no they did not they were like no get out of here well so yeah so what did you use a c word oh I, you know just used to your imagination <laughs> what I did. the woman yeah. was very rude and i i was she calm. knocked your camera over well i she came into a comedy show and then her and I got into it and we had like, I was talking to her nicely. I was like, Hey, listen, we're just telling jokes up here. I was on and she just walked in and then starts bitching about people being there telling jokes. And I said, Hey, we've been here for like two hours. We're wrapping up. We're going to be out of here in a half hour. Just relax. We went back and forth, back and forth. One thing led to another. I said a word to her. She said, say that to my face again. So I did. She went up to my face, got in my face. The bartender pulled her away. She then walked over, flipped my camera over, threw a drink on Nate Damn. Stein, who was filming it, and then stormed out crying. And I went, I didn't do anything. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I was just doing jokes. Should we play it during the break? No. That video has been removed from the internet. Nobody can see it because I've learned my lesson. The clicks are not you. worth it. No, the clicks But at that point, it. I realized I was like, oh, I could see. Like, you ever walk into a building? And you go, you had an incident. We won't bring it up, but you had an incident at a comedy club recently with somebody. Uh, another oh, comedian, yeah. oh, yeah. And it yeah. became uncomfortable where the entire staff were looking at, and you didn't do anything wrong, but the staff yeah. was looking at you because they only heard her side of the story. You walk in and you feel like, oh, you can tell the tide has changed. Oh, yeah. On I you. was like, <laughs> that's it what went I from went the whole through. place loving me to the whole place hating, hating me. I was like, <laughs> and I was literally like, what is going on? I was so confused by the whole thing. And then, uh, it got explained to me, and I was like, "That's not how it happened at all." Yep, it's <laughs> weird how people change yep. the story for their. Yeah, I don't know. very strange. Yeah. So yeah, uh, that's uh, how I ended up getting fired from there, and now I'm here, and it led to Harrisburg, which I'm very excited about because we have a good thing in the morning. I like working with the co-host. Are you, are you on the show all day? Yep. Or? I I am in charge of sports six twenty five, seven twenty five, eight twenty five, and nine twenty five. So I'm but, filling you in. But on you're sports. not you're not like interjecting and talking. Oh yeah, with them. throughout the rest of I mean I'm on the whole show, oh, but really? I, like well, my nice. segments are. I host the sports segments, but then I sit in on the news and I sit in on the entertainment. We play games and take phone calls and nice. They've had like they've dedicated the last 
four shows to me. One show was a question and answer with all things about me. Another show was my five favorite things. Another thing was five things about me. Today we had the text club sending me nice messages. And I'm like, man, this is, I'm not used to this because everybody else has always, every time I've come, it's been like, what is, is everything okay out there? Right. It's probably Robert Kyle. What the, f- the what goddamn you- dog. But anyway, they're very kind. Appreciate everybody. Thank you. Love what you. if they just like do that as it's a spot? Like it's called, it's a game they do. They're like, let's, let's play the next, uh, ruin and a radio stars <laughs> dream in Harrisburg. <laughs> no. This is a game where we like to hire a radio personality and then fake fakely. And then we do two weeks of information on them and then fire them live on the radio. Harrisburg <laughs> ruining lives. Yeah. yeah. Well, listen, I told Caitlin, I'm glad that I got the gig because just today iHeartMedia announced another round of reduction in force firing hundreds of people across the country, uh, maybe dozens of people, but enough that it's going to be a very competitive job market again in just a few weeks. And all these people are out of work. And I went, thank God I got a, yeah, a, good job, a good man. Gig good job. Good job. So yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's, it's like uh, it's because I just canceled my iHeart subscription, and they were like, the, "Oh, you know what? It's because that Funny Dad's podcast. We have to fire a whole bunch. <laughs> of, that would have taken off. It would only take it off. You guys would have been able to keep people's jobs. It was such a good podcast. Yes. By the way, uh, Nathan hosted a podcast with another comedian and radio personality. Flying Brian Jameson from the Freak Show. I think the podcasts are still up, right? Or have they? Yeah, pulled them? I would imagine. Funny still dads up there, yeah. on uh, iHeart. I did an episode. A bunch of fun. It's just comedians, it was better episodes. dads yeah. talking about being comedians and being dads. And exactly uh, now Conan O'Brien has launched a similar project named Dads, and uh, <laughs> one little tear drops from my eyes. Yeah, that would have been your ticket out. That of would here. have been my ticket out of here. Yeah, instead, yeah. Calusa Nature Center. Yeah. <laughs> hey, stop taking shit about the Clues and Nature Center gig. I got 23 I'm people. I'm sorry, you got 23 the people at your chuckle hut. You don't need to keep throwing shade my way, Rob. You okay? did a good job. I came, you did a good your, thing. I came to your house and watched a movie on things. All I hear about is like, oh, you're doing the Clues and Nature Center, you piece of shit. I did I mean, not say that. I just asked out. I'm sorry, I can't do the damn moose lodge. Okay. 